Hello everyone, this is a quick note on database transactions. Let's go back to VS Code. This is the resource we created to create users. Here you can see one insert operation. For some reason, let's say in addition to this database operation, you actually want to do another operation. Maybe let's change this to followers. Okay. So let's say you want to make these two operations transaction. In that case, what you can do is you can create a transaction block and move these two operations into the transaction block. Okay, so let me quickly connect this line. Right. Now, if you look at the error, it says invalid transaction commit count. Yes, that is because we haven't given any commit statement. So let's let's say commit. Of course, commit could fail due to many reasons. Therefore, commit results in error or nil. So let's just use the check statement. In this case, if there is an error, execution will go out of this transaction block. Therefore, the transaction will be automatically rolled back. In the case of happy path, there are only two ways to exit the transaction block. Either you have to explicitly say there is a commit statement, or you have to explicitly say there is a rollback statement. For instance, let's just imagine that there is a if condition here. So inside the if condition, let's say we have the commit. So in that case, in the else condition, we'll have to have rollback. Of course, in this case, it complains because this is always true. But the point is, you have to explicitly say if it is a commit or if it is a rollback, unless there, there, there are any errors. Okay, so that's about transactions. So one more thing. So if the participants are supporting XA transactions, Transaction block even can do distributed transactions. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next one.